Hello, and thank you for joining me. This video is part of a series. There's a link in the description of this video to a full playlist. And we are using Scratch over at scratch.mit.edu. As I mentioned in a previous video, you can download Scratch for Windows, Mac, and Linux, uh, which is great, and it's under a GPL code, which is even more awesome. Uh, or you can use the web interface. Something I should have mentioned in the first videos is you may not want to use the web interface because at this current time, it's using Flash. So it's not going to work on your mobile devices. Um, and I also normally recommend not using Flash. I'm using it in this series uh, for you to make it easier for you to get started. Uh, but if you have the option, I would recommend downloading the code rather than running Flash, my personal opinion. Uh, today, also, uh, something I didn't do for the first three videos I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start saving my project at the end of each video so that I can upload it and you can get copies of them so that you can uh, test out the code if you're having trouble creating it yourself. Uh, so check out the description of this video for links to that. Anyway, so we're going to start again fresh today. Today we're going to be looking at sounds and a few other things. We're basically, we're going to make this cat jump and meow. Uh, so here we go. We have our cat. And again, uh, I wanted to start at the same place every time we start the game, every time we click the green flag. So let's go ahead and go to events and say when the flag is clicked, motion, we're going to move our cat to a certain position. I want him centered on the screen left and right, but I want him at the bottom of the screen, which I have found for this cat, negative 125 on the Y. Works good. So now if I hit start, he jumps down to the bottom of the screen here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set so when we click him, he meows and jumps. So let's go ahead and go over here to events. And we're going to say when the sprite is clicked. So our current sprite, our, our cat, when he's clicked, we're going to go to sounds and there's Aurea meow sound set here. That's what it sounds like right there. So we're going to click and drag that. So now we can start our game and anytime I click the cat, he meows. It's that simple. You have a few other options in the sounds here that we'll get into hopefully in future videos. But right now we're just going to make a meow sound. So, but that would be the end of the video and that would be a little short and boring. So let's take some of our previous um, uh, options that we've learned, features that we've learned in previous videos and add to them and make the cat also jump a little bit uh, when we click him. So we know at this point that he's going to be at negative 125 on the Y axis when the game starts. So we want him to move up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to add to here to this when he's clicked a uh, glide to option. We're going to leave uh, X at zero and we're going to set Y to negative 100. But before we do that, let's drag over another block. So we want him to go up and down. So negative 100 will bring him up and the negative 125 will bring him back down. So now it should work, but it's going to be kind of a slow jump because we have him moving one second up and one second down. So that's going to be a two second jump. So let's see. Pretty slow. So let's move these and change it to, I don't know, 0.2 for each might be good. And now when we click him, and if we wanted to jump a little higher, we can make this number lower. We can say negative 75. Now when we click him, he jumps a little higher or even all the way up to the center of the screen to saying Y to zero. So that is making a sound when you click the sprite and also making him move. So let's, let's do a little more with sound since that's what this video is on. Uh, so we have our one set of blocks here, a group of blocks that says when you click, when you, when you click the cat, because it's only when I click the cat. Now when I click around here, when I click start, it's only when I click on the cat uh, that he's going to meow and move. We also have that when we start the game, he starts at this position so that if we accidentally move him over here when the game starts, he's going to start down there. But let's uh, play some sounds when the game starts. So let's go to start. And here you can see we have some drum options. So let's go ahead and play a drum. So now when I click the start button, it plays a little snare drum. And we have different options here. So we can do a snare drum, a bass drum. We can do wood blocks or a cowbell. 
we can also adjust how long uh, it plays for. So if I wanted to, I can uh, put a bunch of these blocks together like so. Let's see, where, where did uh, drums go? Play drums. I can play the wood block once and then we can do a bunch of snare drums here. Uh, and if I change this number out, so let me make this 0.5 and this one 1. So now if I play it, you'll hear that the, uh, the rhythm of the drums has changed. So you can make a little drum beat like this. Also, if you want a steady beat in the background, we can remove all these. We can change this to, let's see, um, let's say you just wanted a, a hi-hat going. So this is what one hi-hat sounds like. We can also go over to events, or sorry, controls, and we can say, you know, do that forever. Which would get a little annoying. <laughs> uh, but you could do that. Or you can have it do it a certain number of times. So we've done the forever block, so it will do that forever. Uh, but if we wanted something to happen, let's say we wanted to play it three times. We can put that in there. Now when we click start, it's going to position our character and then play that drum three times. Or we can put a group of, of uh, drums in there. We can go like this. So now, so you can have some sort of uh, drums play that way when something happens. Uh, besides drums, we can get rid of all those. We can also play a note. So let's go ahead and put this here. It's going to play a note when we start now. Plays it three times because it's still in the repeat here. And you can choose what note on a piano. So we were playing a middle C there. Uh, if I wanted to go down, I could go down to here, and now we can play a little lower. So now I can uh, play, I can write a song like this if I wanted to. It's probably not the most efficient way to write a song, but I could. I could put uh, these here, and so I have that, and then that would be good. And I can go here, and here. And that is a piano sound, but we can also change our instruments. So let's go ahead and grab this and say set instrument to. Put that there. If we click here, you can see we have piano, electric piano, organ, guitar, bass, uh, trombone. Let's go ahead and do trombone and see how that sounds. So. We have different instruments, they're all obviously synthesized, although you could import your own uh, pre-recorded sounds. Um, and we also have this where it says uh, the notes, but we also have beats. Uh, and by default, it looks like uh, uh, Scratch uses 60 beats per second. So if we actually wanted the music to be a little bit faster, we can put this here and turn it up to like 120. So now we should play the same song. It's still a trombone. It's still playing the same notes three times in a row, but it's going to play it twice as fast. And of course, we can change our instrument here uh, to choir. And we could also have it start off with a regular piano. And we can have this repeat two times instead of three. And then we can also insert, uh, so we can set our instrument too. So we can have it play once and then change to an electric piano. So it's gonna play as a regular piano and then an electric piano. Let's go ahead and play that. Or let's do a wood flute. So you can do a lot of stuff with just the built-in. You can control the volume, obviously. And again, you can, um, also import your own samples and uh, and music as well, which we'll probably look at in a future video. Uh, but that's it for this video on uh, sound. So again, let's just quickly review. We have it set over here that when we click our sprite, it meows and jumps. 
And when we click start, it's going to position our cat. So we can position our cat, sets an instrument, changes the tempo, then repeats the same notes twice, but after it plays it once, it changes the instrument. So here we go. And that's it. I do thank you for watching. As always, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description, as well as a link to the full playlist. And uh, I am going to save this project, and hopefully I'll remember to put a link in the description of this video to the project so you can download this code if you wanted to give it a try. But I also recommend building it yourself so that you have a chance to play. I do thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.